Hi everyone, I'm Bridget. I am super new, I'm part of Academy. Um, I'm six weeks in, so before six weeks ago, I couldn't really tell you much about coding, let alone what it was. Um, so we were invited to this conference, thankfully, by Carol and Jake, thank you so much. Um, and as I was here and you know, just learning to code, which is out of nowhere, super, super tough, right? Um, at least it was for me, and we first learned C Sharp, which did not make any sense to me at all. We learned it in two weeks, which <laughs> also didn't make any sense to me. Um, so when we got to Ruby, which was week three for us, it was like such a sigh of relief for me because it actually made sense. Um, and in our class, we developed some people who like loved C Sharp and would yell at Ruby and say, why Ruby, why aren't you C Sharp? And I was one of those people who would say, why would you do C Sharp when you could do Ruby? Um, so there became sort of this language versus language. Um, but we went back to C Sharp actually in the past week and through doing Ruby, C Sharp makes a lot more sense to me now. So I have come to respect it. John will be shocked to hear. Um, <laughs> so um, at the start of the conference yesterday, I went to the intro to Rust, which was taught by Ben, I believe. Um, and he was, he's over there. <laughs> And he was explaining basically how Rust is different from other languages, going really quickly through it. Um, and with that, talking about Ruby, um, he would say something like to the effect of, um, you know, in Ruby, this is much different because like Ruby doesn't care. In class, John often said to us, Ruby, don't give a expletive. Um, <laughs> so um, I, I sort of noticed, and I actually chatted Jean about this, I noticed that at least my perception was that there is a hierarchy among languages. Um, and being so new and loving Ruby, which I was learning was perhaps the simpler of the languages, if we want to attribute value to it, um, I, I felt a little bit less than. But I wasn't sure if this was stuff I was making up in my head, which I have been known to do. Um, so I chatted Jean and I said, hey, I've noticed this, and when Ben said in class, and he was talking about, you know, Ruby does this differently, there was this giggle. And that giggle was, was such a, an indicator to me that there was this, this hierarchy, or uh, as I understood it, there was a hierarchy. So I asked her about it, and it facilitated this sort of deeper discussion of, no, each language does different things really, really well. Um, but really, there is no like known hierarchy, like C Sharp isn't ranked number one, Ruby isn't ranked dead last. Rust isn't like gonna save us all. Um, <laughs> so I, I asked her about this, and she she suggested that I bring it up today, um, simply because I think that just like our class, there tends to be people who gravitate towards one or the other, and then start to. And the word through discussing this with a bunch of people here, you know, in the past forty eight hours. Um, the word tribal kind of came up and everybody feels allegiance to their specific tribe. Um, whether that be C Sharp, Rust, um, or, or Ruby. Um, my real question and my real reason to, to be here is, is why? Like what does that do for us as programmers? Um, and does it ultimately hurt us more than it helps us? Um, that's really all I have for you. I don't have the answers in any way, shape, or form. As I said, I'm six weeks in, so you guys have far more answers than I do. Um, just a bit of background about me of why I find this so interesting. Um, my bachelor's degree is in anthropology and sociology, so this should come as no shock to you. That, and I specialized in gender and linguistics, too. So um, with that, um, noticing sort of attributions to um, language and just taking meaning through those languages is something that I kind of do subconsciously. So I just wanted to throw it back at you guys and let you think about it, mull it over. 